Now, the question is, what can an eye examination reveal? I repeat that. What can an eye examination reveal? First thing you got to understand, with a naked eye, right, you can look at somebody's eyes with a naked eye and you won't see very much at all because you're not, you're not a camera. Now, when we use the camera that we have, which is a very, very powerful camera, designed specifically by ophthalmologists and camera engineers, these cameras are very well made and they're that long or bigger. When you photograph the eyes with that, remember the iris is about that big, the eyes are that big, but when you photograph it, you can take it up on a big Mac and a Mac computer, and you can make it go that big. You can make it bigger than A4 on the computer. And the eye, so that iris there grows up that big on the camera. And then from there, we can see many, many more things, up to 60 to 80 things in the eyes. All the markers are there. Your liver's there, your pancreas is there, your brain matter is there. It's all marked in the eyes. Every sector is marked. Your kidneys are shown. Your lungs are shown, your heart's shown, and so on. So you can see. Now, once you see that clarity in a bigger picture, you can then say, okay, this is a problem you have, or you may have, and you've got toxicity in the liver, you've got toxicity in the colon, and so on, and so on, and so on. And then you can recommend accordingly what, what, what fiber food they should be eating, what sort of fruit they should be eating, what sort of minerals they should be eating, what sort of um, vegetables and so on, and also the state of mind, what books they should be reading, what films they should be watching, and, and then put them in a whole different frame of mind. So instead of being sick and tired with the brain matter, they are much happier in their life because the way the camera's detected, the camera and our knowledge has detected a problem, we give them a recommendation on that problem, and within a matter of weeks, a whole state of mind changes to the positive. Really amazing stuff. And I love doing that sort of work because you have someone come in really worried about their health and and they are worried internally and, and, and showing externally as well. Once we see all that, we understand what's going on, we, we ask the right questions, we get the right answers. We spend two hours per patient, two hours, so that's very, it's not 10 minutes in and out, two hours, very thorough examination, and then we can recommend the right course of action so that they can recover. So if you like what you hear, subscribe to the video, subscribe to the channel, and you'll get some incredibly good videos, incredibly good knowledge each week.